guys hello there so today i'll be telling you guys how i actually place all the colors into this palette i've recently bought if you haven't seen the recent haul uh, you can definitely check that out and it's the kathy airtight uh, palette it's quite huge and you can see it's not fitting into the screen but i'll, I'll make sure that you get to see the whole palette and I'll be putting in these new gouache uh, royal talon talons gouache paints into these and yeah I'll just so here let me just show you the palette so this is how the palette looks uh, from the front it's just like a tiffin box and it opens up just like that and here you can see it's pretty huge and pretty uh, big so here's the new gouache uh, set which I have and here's the brush part and you can see uh, one of it is broken and the other one is um, round brush number 5 and uh, I, don't, I didn't see that uh, the brush was broken while I was buying it I was too excited to check that out I guess so uh, just opening up the plastic wrapping I, I feel like a kid when I open up an art palette or the tubes uh, I don't know if any of one of you might feel like that but I am really excited to try these and I'll most probably be using the brush that came along with this so I'll be placing it accordingly and I'll be showing you how I do that and so the first color here is vermilion and it's sort of an orangish red uh, or red with an orange tone so as you can see uh, I didn't know that it came with a seal pack so the best way to open it up is with this I just no noted that um, just like any other ointment you just have to prick it with the opposite side of the cap and and the uh, metal thing will uh, be pierced away right away so just uh, I just don't want to waste uh, colors that's how I feel like with these gouache because they are so brand new and the second color here is crimson red it's more sort of a bluish tone red uh, if you know what I'm saying it's uh, a maroonish red I would say a bit a uh, darker red and uh, it's a 12 ml pack each one of the tubes are 12 ml and let me just show you how I do that so yeah that is how you actually poke into the uh, tin thing of the tubes so uh, some of the colors I feel like are so vibrant that the they look so nice overall so moving on with the yellow one and I feel like these colors are taking so much time for me to take out from the palette and this one is I guess uh, lemon yellow I hope it's visible yeah it's lemon yellow and you can see the three languages that lemon yellow is written in and uh, some of the colors I feel like are quite like stiff when you squeeze it out of the uh, tube uh, this one was a bit a tad bit um, difficult and the next color here is yellow ochre as the tube uh, suggests and that's written there yeah and um, I wanted to keep all the colors uh, aside which all the colors which I'm actually filling in, in into the palette so I'm just keeping on the, all the colors uh, away from the uh, the pack so the next color here is pale green I think it's viridian green um, and uh, each time I'm uh, placing the colors into the palette I'm forgetting to pierce it and then I remember that I have to pierce it so I, I felt like this green was not coming out of the tube and you can see there I'm, I'm making uh, such an effort to 
push the green color out of the tube so from green onwards i felt like the tubes were kind of resistant and the paints were not coming out properly so this next color is viridian it was just viridian and i think it must be viridian green it's sort of a darker shade of green and and this one was also like so um, difficult to push it through the tubes i don't know why it was so but it was kind of difficult to press it from the tube so the next one is a blue color cerulean blue and yeah this was also a bit difficult to like squeeze out of the tube and you can see the pile get bigger and the next uh, one this one is i think persian blue yeah persian blue i know i'm a bit slow with the squeezing of the colors but it can be a bit difficult sometimes uh, because maybe i'm not used to use the tubes exactly so this one is mauve this mauve it looks like a purple from the tube but it's written mauve let's see what color it is and this one was also very difficult to like squeeze through the tube it's actually purple uh, kind of a purple of the eggplants or the brinjal you get so the next color here is bond cyan um it looks like a beautiful color from the tube uh, just a normal 12 ml pack and let's see how it goes into the tube uh, this one was bit a uh, nicer smoother like i didn't have to press harder on the tube to get the product out and the last shade here is black obviously it's literally lamp black i don't know what lamp black means but it's a nice black color look like one and there goes the color and if you like the way um, the colors come up out of the tube looks very nice and the next color here is titanium white i guess yeah let me just clear it up yeah titanium white there it is and i just want to keep white at the end just just because i think i feel like i'll be using it a lot and for just for precaution i am taking a lot more of white because i like working with uh, darker colors especially as you can see it's a 12 set so i'll be mixing up so i feel like i'll be mixing up a lot of pastel colors and skin tones so let's see what i do with these colors and the colors look really amazing as you can see in the tubes there so as you can see the colors look really amazing uh, the way they've been squeezed out they have kind of a nice pattern to it and yeah as you can see they look like really fresh paint into the palette and i just love the way they look moving on with the swatches initially i was not planning on doing the swatches swatches but i had to because i actually will be keeping a swatch card with this palette so the first color is very vermilion and i actually did a very bad job at the first swatch i don't know why i took a lot of color but yeah as you can see and i feel like the uh, as i'm using the brush it feels very nice and soft and smooth and i think i'll be using this brush a lot because it's a really good quality brush and you can see the kind of gradient you get i'm doing a gradient wash with these paints because i just want to see uh, the different light uh, variations or the variants you can get with these colors and as i'm picking up the colors it feels more like acrylic and as i'm adding more water to it it's becoming more like watercolor so that is one property of gouache that i really like and i've heard that a lot about gouache that it 
can be used as an acrylic and as a watercolor and uh, that is what i like about gouache and uh, this is what is missing in some of the indian brands i have not seen any indian brands come up with these gouache gouache paints are only i've seen only gouache paints in uh, like good quality ones into the high brand one not uh, the camlin or the faber castle i wish uh, they had come up with a gouache set I would have loved to buy them, but I don't think they have come up with any uh, kind of artist quality wash. So, as you can see, we've swatched the uh, crimson red, uh, lemon yellow, and uh, yellow ochre. And so, as you can see, I'm doing kind of a linear wash because i felt like the paint was spreading really nicely so i just wanted to see how it will glide away if i do a linear swatch uh, so moving on with the next color here uh, after swatching the pale green i'm moving in with a uh, viridian green and uh, the smoothness and the consistency of the color is really amazing and that's what i'm feeling as i'm um, doing the swatch and i feel like uh, sideways swatch like the linear swatches are much more better than the kind of a sideways swatch which i was doing and i'll be doing that because i feel like i'm more comfortable with that so moving on with the next color it's a uh, kind of taking time because i'm actually washing of the brush into the water so that's the that's why i'm it's taking time for me so the next color here is cerulean blue and you can see the really pretty shade and um, it goes from extreme dark uh, opaque color to extreme light like a watercolor wash and that is what i'm liking about these colors and they are not at all granulating onto the paper so let me just tell you uh, the paper which I'm using is a 100 GSM A4 size paper which I folded into half. Like I folded it and then swatching it. So the last color here is Persian blue as you can see. And I think I'll be swatching in the next color too. It's mauve. More like a uh, looks like a eggplant purple. But let's see uh, how it looks if I swatch it. And yeah, it's exactly like that. But a uh, really nice pastely uh, purple if you water it down. So I feel like I am in love with this paint. They're gliding on so nicely onto the paper. And, and I feel like it will work even better on a thinner paper too like the 70 gsm one so yeah so moving on with the next uh, shade here i am using burnt cyan and it's looking more like a, a yellowish toned brown as uh, that's the way i can describe it properly burnt cyan is supposed to have some reddish tint to it but here i am seeing um a little bit of yellowish hue to this brown it's it's i feel like uh, burnt cyan is my favorite color in every watercolor palette i get but uh, this one is a bit granulating i feel like in the wash and wow what an opaque black color is that i feel like this uh, black color would do a lot and it's not even turning into gray um, I mean I have a lot of water and that that's at the end you can see it's it's it has turned into gray so I feel like gray is, uh, like the black color is really nice so the next is white I don't think it will be visible on camera but for swatching uh, I'll, I'll swatch it and show you yeah it's not visible at all so moving on with so in the end you can see all the colors together and let me just show you the close-up of the colors 
uh, I've searched it into an A4 sheet, folded it into half, and yeah. I hope you guys uh, have liked this. Uh, me putting up the setting up my color palette, and you can definitely use a pencil box and stick some uh, like water bottle caps, and you can use it as a watercolor palette. I've done that, and I'll show you to show it to you definitely in a DIY thing. So here's my swatches. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and do let me know in the comment section below how it was and do follow me on Instagram. I really put uh, many stuff there which I don't show on YouTube. So you can definitely check that out and thank you for subscribing and I do have my shop uh, in the description box below. If you want to buy anything uh, you can message me on Instagram or you can definitely comment comment down below i'll uh, make sure that um, you get your um, product shipped so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye